After days of violent protests by striking taxi drivers, South African police in the township of Kayamande in Stellenbosch are battling what they say are looters. They disperse dozens of people trying to break into a liquor store and break up other groups with stun grenades, rubber bullets and tear gas. Many bus taxi drivers went on strike nearly a week ago. They say they're being unfairly targeted by authorities who have confiscated their vehicles for traffic offences and that the law is being abused. The impoundment uh, usually does not take the vehicle off the road for a protracted period, but what it does do is it compels the owners of these vehicles to confront the conduct of the drivers that they employ, and that really is the crux here, that we have found a mechanism that is starting to compel behaviour change. The issue of is uh, the practice of issuing fines in terms of the criminal justice system is not doing that. During the strike, at least 10 public buses, which people use as an alternative to minibus taxis, have been torched. Drivers have also blocked major highways and roads, and at least five people have been killed. Cape Town city officials blame the taxi drivers. We distance ourselves uh, from what is happening out there. Uh, the criminal activities that are taking place, we are not part of. We have issued a statement, we discouraged our members. Uh, when we took the decision to embark on SCA, we, we spoke to our members and said we don't want to see any member involving him or herself in criminal activities. Hence, we are saying that those are not our members. Negotiations to end the strike have stalled. City bosses say they won't continue talks as long as there's violence. Meanwhile, tens of thousands of commuters remain stranded and some businesses shut, while the taxi industry loses the equivalent of $800,000 each day the strike continues. In a country with underlying issues of poverty and inequality, any unrest often leads to situations like this, where police find themselves having to stop looting and other crimes. Officers are likely to remain on high alert. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, outside Cape Town.